Multilingual, Module 1, Language Table and the Quran. Another free lesson to help you become a better coder. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. Your continued support help make these videos possible. And as always, I thank you all for watching this video. So in this uh, video, we are going to add a table named language. We will also be implementing the CRUD operations and its form. Let's get to it. Good morning, good morning. All right. <clears throat> Um, it's been a while, um, so I've been working on this application, a personal application. Um, now I need a, a way to convert it to uh, to make it multi uh, multilingual. So um, so let me um, let's do this. We are going to uh, create a new application. And um, see, I been doing the test on the more uh, multi language here. So, but I think I got it, and I want to share with you. All right, and this will be a good uh, uh, good application to have. Obviously, we want to create a, an application and then be able to reuse it. So we're gonna call this guy multi lingual. Lingo. Is it lingo? Let's call language something that we uh, we know multi language. Um, and here, um, let's call this application because remember, the name of this application cannot be used anywhere in the application once you are set it. So. Um, yeah, let's call. Let's let's give it the same name, and we're not going to use multi language in our application. All right, so let's call that multi language. Let's create it. Um. Yeah, let's. Uh, what I'm uh, thinking with my test. Um, Let's call this language. Oops. And then we're gonna call this one language uh, ID. Now we're gonna make it a number, but not an auto. We're gonna grab our own. All right. So let's make that a number. Uh, you can leave that as a long integer if you want. It doesn't matter. Here we're gonna call uh, language. Uh, short name and then language just in case you want to swap back and forth all right so you'll see what I'm talking about so we got a long short name and long name uh, what else do we need uh, is it a default all right so it's default this will always also a number all right, so we want to be able to identify if the <clears throat> the language is selected as a default. So anytime we open up the application, we want to make sure that we grab this language. Suppose you want to change this to Thai and open up the application, and it will open up in Thai. All right, or Laos, or any any other language. So that's the idea. Let's, so let's go ahead and uh, and make that a primary key and save. All right, we're just gonna go work. We're just gonna work bit by bit. All right, so just uh, that way it's easy to follow. So we're gonna go ahead and create a card for this. Uh, the best way to create a card is to go to our go to our our favorite the object all right um, 
I'm gonna go up to the latest one. Uh, I think this one has uh, uh, extra bits in it. So let's grab our uh, object. Uh, create object right there. And then we also need the um, automation object automation right here we need those two guys that's it all right um, so now before we do this let's go to the, let's open up our code behind there that way we can just switch back and forth all right and let's run this language There you go. So that makes it easy with that automation. It's just using that same code. And then now all we have to do is just uh, populate it in there, right? Uh, language. There. We're done for that part, for that portion. So go ahead and save that. Now we're going to go ahead and add the module for it. This one is called, this one goes with the uh, the class language db oops access all right so now let's grab the other side let's go to the front end grab this side copy and we can go ahead now uh, close that guy back to the form and paste it in there all right um, one thing we need to do is to um, add um, the ID remember this ID is not it's not a um, it's a number but it's not an auto number all right so so we're gonna grab we're gonna use our own I'm gonna grab this guy right here copy and then make this guy new language ID see there and uh, we don't need this uh, parameter and then we want to change and return number all right so that's what we want we're gonna well let's see oops so we're gonna default this to one uh, and then we want to say select max language ID all right as uh, um, max language ID take the asterisk out from language and that's what we need that is all we need all right so now we can say um, let's add RS as oops put a comma there uh, RS as record set comma now we're gonna say set RS as usual the uh, current DB open record set and then there all right now uh, I'm just gonna delete that close we're gonna close connection and then we're gonna dump all our garbage nothing that's the garbage all right uh, now if RS yes, record set record count is anything less than uh, uh, over uh, greater than uh, zero we want to come in here all right we want to say actually you know what actually we just want to do this now this max number, if it's, uh, it's going to return something. So we'll go ahead and say, it's going to return something. We're going to go ahead and say, okay, one plus whatever. All right, whatever. Uh, now this one right here is, you see max language ID. Just like that. All right, uh, this could be zero right here. Okay, 
this could be zero. A no is a something. So uh, a no is something. So rocket count. A no is a rocket count. <laughs> That's kind of weird, but you know, uh, it's always been like that. A no is a count. It's a something. Uh, I'll go ahead and uh, put this uh, there. So that's that. That's pretty much it. All right. That's pretty much it. All right. So now, <clears throat> so we got everything in there, I think, for the language portion. So now let's uh, add the automation portion. So we're going to add uh, insert module. Uh, let's call this. Uh, uh, set default language yep so we're gonna set default language our default language is simply uh, in English so we want to say um, sub oh uh, instead of set default we're just gonna take take the set out because we're gonna default language. There you go. We're gonna say update uh, sub set default language language like so. All right. Now the default language will be oh uh, language as language. I'm gonna say, um, as a matter of fact, we can just go, we can go ahead and make it a new here, all right? And then we don't have to do a set. And then we just say, um, um, we're gonna go ahead and define this guy as one, all right? Actually, actually, let me show you something here. This guy right here, I forgot. So when we create that um, uh, new, let's see, new language ID right here, that's what we want. All right, that's what we want. And so every time we create a new language, all right, we're gonna add this uh, in incremented by one. Like this one right here. You see that? We're gonna increment it by one. You see? We we'll set this guy to one, and whatever the max this guy is, it's gonna be one. All right. And if we add another one in there, it's gonna be one in there, and then one plus one is two, so the next one will be two, and so on and so forth. All right. So that's how that works. Forgot to do that. So now we we'll set that guy. Um. All we have to do now is just do this. Copy that guy. We don't have to. Uh, we're gonna call this the. Oh, this is a long name. Uh, oh, come on. I think my fingers are not cooperating. All right, and then we want this guy to be short. Uh, there. And then we also want this guy to be default equals one. That's it. That's all she wrote. All right. <clears throat> um, now the default, we're gonna have other. Um, we're gonna need two other tables to control our form and controls. So this is being the language. We're gonna have to have a form table and control table. All right. So, kind of think ahead of time here. So that means we're gonna use this guy as a global for this guy. So what we want to do is just do like so. Take this guy out, and that way in this uh, default form, um, we can just use that. Use it like that. All right. Now, let's go ahead and add this guy. Uh, I'm gonna just create a property uh, a variable here T 
to uh, execute my uh, my add uh, added equals language db save uh, uh, just like that there all right so that's the first thing that we're gonna do that's the first thing that we're gonna do so let's uh let's execute this and let's see what's going on here all right so to do that let's create a form we're gonna go ahead and save this form as form test screen or favorite and all we need is just a button to say hey create me that thing all right so um, <clears throat> command execute just like that and then let's go into the event on click event and here we we'll say call uh, not it's called default language and then set up that's all it is that is all it is all right so let's execute and we're gonna see if it adds anything in here uh, without glitch so there it is so we got the language as uh, English as being the first default language all right first as being the default language and now um, you know what we're gonna change the test screen to language screen I think that's a yeah let's do that yeah let's close it and then rename this guy form language think that uh, yeah yep 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 so now we got uh, this uh, booger right here all right save um, on this form we're gonna create a couple things the idea is we want to uh, add a drop down list for the language all right so let's work on that and then we'll add other things remember well it's easier if you work bit by bit and that way it's not as uh, complicated so I'm gonna make that guy same with as this guy and uh, right about there I think that's good maybe a little longer right there all right um so we're gonna name this uh, control appropriately we're gonna call this guy cbo language all right and then and then label language all right, I'm gonna take a, a caption out for that guy so it shows nothing here. Remember, we're gonna pre-populate all these guys in here. Okay, make that guy a little smaller. Um, all right, that's one. That's one. Hmm. yep and um, let's add another button so then we have a couple controls to work with and then another one um, let's make this guy a little law law uh, wire here so this last one we're not 
interested because we're going to use that to uh, create our language default language but this guy right here let's name this guy command add language and then I'm going to take the caption out all right and this guy will be uh, see him uh, refresh so that's how that's going to work for now all right um, for now So now what we want to do is when we launch this guy, we want to make this guy um, to list all the languages reside in there. Okay, so we're gonna uh, we're gonna set the uh, we're gonna do this. Let me show you what we're gonna do here. I'm gonna go into Zoom here. And say select language ID um, language um, long name from language. That's it. All right, and that's all she wrote. And then we need to set this guy to two columns. The first one we're gonna hide, the second one we want it shown, and that's all. That's all. Let's see if we have anything in there. Let's run it. Perfect. Good. Good, 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 good. Good, 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 good. All right, let's close that. Um, oops, didn't mean that. Another way to do this. Another way to do that is uh, show you another way to do that. I'm gonna grab this guy right here. Uh, another way to do that is uh, let's do this. Let me show you what we can do here oops yeah um, on load what we want to do here um, there's another way to do it we'll say sub um, language combo box combo box and then we're passing the control combo as as control oops and then all you have to do here is just say C C M C O M combo box um, row source equals we just copy that guy in there that's all we have to do here and here we say all right make the first one default um, yeah. now all we have to do is just pass in that control in here and now we'll just get it going all right so here on load we can say um, call language Oops. DB access uh, combo box. Me theme language. Just like that. Alright. So if we if we take a look at this guy, see we don't have anything in the row source right here. Alright? Nothing there. Let's see if it grabs what we wanted to grab and pre-selected the first one. Look at that. And pre-selected the first one. Good. Alright, so 
let's try another one we're gonna add the second one tie uh, actually just tie th and it's not a default all right see if it's going to uh, display uh, two listing for us look at that all right now we can also make it uh, sort so we're going to also do this order by I'm just going to grab this booger here and that's it all right um, and that was just going to be whatever language okay so that's that's what we want all right now the next one we're going to do is to add another table that would be the control name all right which controls the either the report uh, either the form or the report all right so that this is a quick and easy one all right we're gonna we're gonna continue with the next uh, with the next episode and be able to display this guy and that guy and that guy all right so stay tuned see what we are uh, what I'm gonna be showing you thanks for watching Bye for now. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please subscribe, like, share, and hit that bell. And also comment below and if you need help, inbox me. Thanks again.